Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I wanted to review for you Yankee Candles Cranberry Peppermint. Now you're gonna, you know, it's really weird because this one is in their holiday collection, of course, but I actually got this during the June, July SAS sale. Um, and I wanted to review it for you and I wanted to talk about it. And I'm gonna read you the scent description for it. Cranberry Peppermint, the fruity sing of tart cranberries adds a lively holiday twist to the cool scent of peppermint. Now, this is, on cold sniff, you definitely do get the scent of cranberries, but hardly, just a hint of mint, not that much. It says, just a hint of mint. Oh, by the way, this is your typical 22 ounce large jar of Yankee Candle Paraffin Wax Single Wick. It is red in color, has lots of oils, and it has little candy canes on the front. It's really, really cute. Anyway, finally, right? Um, I'm going to get started on what happened when I burnt it. I actually lit this this morning at 9 o'clock and I was having a hard time with it. I did put a little foil around it. It started pulling a little bit. Uh, and one thing I've noticed, and I don't know if anyone out there has noticed, lately, first Yankee Candle in itself, this kind of jar takes a long time to pull. Some, not, I shouldn't say all of them because believe it or not, Candy Cane Lane does pretty well for me. But this one took a while to pull. And if it's in left anywhere in a drafty room, sometimes even with an Aluma lid on it or even with foil on it, if I take that piece off because I see a little bit of a wax pool, it starts getting hard around the edges all over again. I don't know if it gets a little cold or something. It just does, it's very weird. So I had to move it to another room. I had to put it in the candle sleeve. I had to put an Aluma lid back on and that's what happened with it and it started pulling at no lie from nine o'clock 1 30 in the afternoon that's how long and if you could see you could probably see like a little edge excuse my nails i didn't do them yet but you could see like a little edge here like a little difference in color shading so i had to let you know about that I don't know if people are experiencing this the centro on it is actually pretty good it is probably like a five or a no no i would say like a six you could smell it within the room and you could smell it a little bit out of the room it's pretty good and it does smell nice and i plan to use it probably with candy cane lane or another one and i wanted to mention the other one that i wanted to tell you about now i don't know if everyone has noticed if you go onto yankee candles website you have noticed a little tab that says sale center where you can get things that are either clearance or i don't know if they're clearance necessarily but they're doing away with certain things. They're putting certain jars on sale. Anyway, I've noticed, and this is something I'm backing up um, Candle Dancer on this, which is Norma. Hi, Norma. Now, she set out a warning to us and she wanted to let everyone know that probably a month or two ago, probably a month ago, Yankee Candle in their sales center was selling, or even in their jar, if you see large jars, they're selling writing jars, which is this, which we buy from Yankee, we buy them from, sorry, Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. This is a writing jar, and Yankee Candle has them on their website. They have them for $17 for a 22 ounce candle, large paraffin, you know, wax, but no, don't do it, people. These are $12.99 in um, Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx, so just a warning. Um, everyone you know let everyone know that yeah you can get them cheaper if you have a home goods or marshall's and tj maxx near you you can get it cheaper so even though they have them on sale anyway just letting you know oh and by the way this is cranberry harvest which i i found the scent description was actually on yankee i was happy about it because i couldn't find it before scent description for cranberry harvest is dun 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 that's just music to, you know, to um, pause for a minute to find my description here. Okay, it says here, bursting with the vibrant fruity sensation of crisp, crisp and tangy cranberries. Basically, as I mentioned, I did a review on these candles on the writing jars. 
definitely this one is a actually i love this scent it's a beautiful as they say cranberry tart scent even when you burn it it throws fantastically cranberry harvest by the way um and i like cranberry harvest and this one cranberry peppermint a little bit more than cranberry chutney which to me is a little sweet but everybody likes something different so there that is now finally i wanted to let you know about my my sas sale my cranberry peppermint and cranberry harvest writing jars you can get them cheaper go to you know marshall's home goods blah 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 but i mentioned the sas sale now there's something about that i hadn't said i do have a little bit of ranting to do about Yankee. When I went to the SAS sale during the end of June, well, the end of June, beginning of July, I did go crazy. I did go a little wacky. I mean, they show you six for 60 instead of $27.99 for a jar and your eyes start twinkling and, and you know, you start thinking, oh my God, what else could I buy? Maybe you don't. I do. I do go a little nuts, but it's the opportunity that, opportunity that you have to you know try something new and that's what I did I wanted to test other candles and I did unfortunately purchase some candles that I didn't like or the scents were there were problems with them or the scents I didn't like and and I wanted to return some of them now I called up customer service of Yankee Candle about it because I bought it for the SAS sale and I was a little you know I was trying to figure out I only paid like 10 bucks six for 60 you know, can I return it? Is it like a one-time only? And Yankee Candle customer service said to me, no, 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 it's not that way. Um, jar for jar, even though you bought it during the SAS sale and you spent less money for it, you return this jar for another one, the same size, whatever, and switch it. No problem. No questions asked. And what happened was I tried it once. Uh, I tried it at the Boney Bunch party, I should say. You know the Boney Bunch party? I don't even know if it happened in August because everything is flying by with seasons and candles. Anyway, I went to the Boney Bunch party. I came armed with my two jars, not this one, two jars of candles that I wanted to switch out. Plus other little Halloween things that I purchased, Boney Bunch stuff. And when I got to the cash register, there were two people online, or two cashiers, SAS or sales associates on, on the, behind the cash register. And there was lines because people go crazy during this bony bunch party. And um, I was there. I handed her over, you know, two jars, my two return jars. And I, I had my two new jars. And I know the cashier that I went to. I do know her. I talked to her. She's very nice. And I saw the other one next to her. And it was really weird because I sat down on the, the counter the two jars and when I pulled them out to switch them out the other cashier register not the one that I know or I like as much said quickly gave him a glance and said oh no she can't return those she got them during the SAA you know the sales and and the six for 60 or whatever and and she will only give her the amount of money that for the new jar so apparently she was under the thought that you know we you got that one on sale we'll put the money towards the new jar the 27.99 one and i was like taken aback for a minute and i said to her i quickly pointed out and there's people looking at me like i'm trying to be slick and i'm pissed sorry upset you know but i quickly said to her no i called up customer service and they said it's jar for jar they said that's what they said they didn't say what you know and I kept it really civil, really nice. But she looked at me a little upset, like, you're not supposed to do that. It was really weird. While the other cash register girl or sales associate that I know sort of looked at me like, good for you. Or, you know, she almost gave me a wink, like, excellent. You know, like that kind of thing. So I was a little upset with it. I did call up customer service because I felt that you shouldn't do that to anyone and uh, I'm not saying that the customer is always always right but you have to be nice to people but I was just a little bit upset with customers you know I talked to customer service and I mentioned it to them and yes I blabbed about the store because I didn't like it I didn't like the way it came off and um and then hence what happened is with the 
friends and family sale. It may be me, or maybe maybe my pictures posted in the back room going, the pest is coming, but I have no idea. But um, I, I every time I go to the store to return something, I, I normally am a little nervous about who I return it with. I don't go to the one that I don't talk to as much. I go to the ones that are friendly to me and, you know, and that's it. I mean, the ones that are friendly are, will tell you about the candles, will bring stuff to the front. They're very nice. And I think, I'm hoping, because I try to, I'm really friendly with everyone, but I'm hoping that you don't experience similar circumstances like that. But yes, it is jar for jar, so don't let them tell you anything else, even if, you know, like I, some of them I didn't even burn and, and I was returning them, but if they don't give you good performance or whatever, you can return it and get a, another one. Even if they are SAS, don't let them fool you. Anyway, that's what happens. So friends from family sale, I was not invited to the last one. I don't know if I'm going to be invited to this n upcoming one. Um, supposed to be in November. If I go, I go. If I'm invited, I, I'm invited. If not, I think this, you know, who was... Um, Susan told me that there's a 30% sale. Hi, Susan. They told me that it's a 30% sale uh, on accessory items. So, I don't know. So maybe I'll get something. If not, it's okay. I don't mind. I have enough. I'm okay. If not, there's Bath and Body Works that will accept me two for 22, of course, anytime. And there's always home goods. And anyway, that's what happened. So I wanted to let you know what's going on. And that was my rant, my long-winded rant about, rant about the Yankee Candle. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And take care. Bye-bye.